Uh, so what's going on family we're going to talk about what's going on in the stock market on the streets of the stock market because apparently it looks like it's rivian right now yep they always ask us this question is a stock a buy after we have some wall street analysts upgrade the stock like we're just supposed to just go out and run and buy the stock all because we have one analyst who is upgrading their price target for these stocks it's just crazy how this title these type of titles continue to try to persuade us into thinking that one person will actually move us into purchasing and buying or selling stocks but apparently they're going to continue to try to push these these narratives unless the people change so let's go ahead and talk about it piper sandler analyst alexander potter that's the individual that's the one analyst who has upgraded his price target for rivian he upgraded his price target to a buy rating from a prior hold recommendation. Okay. He also bumped his price target from $15 to $21 per share. So from 15 to 21. So that is an increase if we were to get to $15 to 21. Around 40% run up. That caused... <laughs> The stock to jump Friday as a new price target represents nearly 100% rise in shares. Seriously, the Motley Fool must think we must be fools because that alone did not cause the stock to jump. This article was produced on Friday. Here it is the 18th. So the market did end up three and a quarter percent. Now they're trying to tell us that that's the reason why. No, that's not the reason why. Look at where the stock is trading. Rivian is trading at all time lows. You will have instances to where price goes up. The mother fool is trying to trick us, y'all. Trying to tell us that that's the reason why the stock went up. Rivian's second generation electric vehicle will be a mid sized SUV, priced about $30,000 lower. Than Rivian's full size R1S. The four to five thousand base price should bring in more potential customers. Shipments are expected to begin in early 2026. You can't fault Rivian. Like they're trying to create EV vehicles at reasonable prices. But the problem is, don't nobody know if they will come. Should bring in more potential customers. The analysts talking about Alexander also noted a major pivot that will help the company retain needed cash. Yeah, they're burning through that cash. They need that money. The R2 would be built at the company's existing Illinois plant rather than a Georgia facility currently under construction. Delaying spending on that construction in Georgia will save Rivian more than $2 billion. So they're on cost cutting watch now. So they got to make this manufacturing of this EV in Illinois when they originally planned it to be in Georgia. So you can see that this business is trying to reduce expenses because they're not bringing in enough money to keep these expenses or at least continue manufacturing more multiple EV vehicles at multiple locations. The article also goes on to tell us that Rivian needs this new R2 platform to be a hit with customers but over two billion dollars in capital savings should help extend this time frame for that success they're buying more time literally piper sandler analyst potter thinks the shares have bottomed and with the delivery van business continuing to generate cash investors might find it worthwhile to follow his advice and buy the stock go out and buy the stock because one man said to now here's the comments some people still have hopes for Rivian others don't think so Rivian is desperately trying to maintain relevancy in the automobile market they failed to deliver in the commercial space and are now focused on selling an EV Jeep Compass this person doesn't see any light at the end of the tunnel more rose colored glasses empty rhetoric and weekly letdowns when the news isn't, let's see, isn't well received. 
company market cap is at $12 billion and I've only seen one or two of their vehicles on the road once in a great while. If Ford and Bezos decided to withdraw from the company, there is a reason why. Analysts are there to pump the stock so that they can dump them. So that person is obviously thinking that, well, shoot, these analysts, I mean, these analysts, these companies are sitting on a whole bunch of Rivian and they're like, we need to start putting out some good content so that we can trick people into going out and purchasing it. Because in order for people to sell, you got to have a buyer. And if there's no one buying the stock, then you got to drum up news to kind of ensue people to push them to buy. That's what that comment is trying to tell us. Somebody also responded, a good buy or a good buy. It's not bad. Somebody also is predicting bankruptcy within the next five years. It might be sooner than that. That's why the stock is so low. This is not a good company. When you see a stock price that's trading in this direction, there's massive issues going on. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked. All of these articles that's trying to push us into thinking that Rivian is a buy. All you have to do is look at the stock chart and the market is already telling that it's not. Now, can you buy and get off when price does go up a little bit? Yeah, you can. That's why our price predictions look like that. But are you looking forward to run back up to, you know, where it's been? One hundred and twenty dollars. Like for real, be honest with yourself. It's going to take a lot for Rivian to run back up to like 120. But it doesn't mean that we can't see it run to 16 for at least one time. So here's our price prediction right now. Okay, here it is on the five. And I do think the market is trying to bottom. But it has a bottom? No, I don't think it. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's trying to form a bottom right now. Here it is on the three. This three day bar right there. Is giving me cause of concern because we're looking for price to go up in Rivian. I don't want to see these type of bars when I'm looking for the market to go higher. So yeah, I already know what we're up against in our analysis of Rivian being a buy right now. So as long as the market holds our buys on around 10 bucks, then we are going to continue to look forward to this market movement higher. Okay. So it's going to be right there, but go ahead and give me your thoughts about it. Make sure you maintain your profitability and as always, trade different.